am one of the Jeremiah's, and I'm proud to say I am. I've been fed like a fighting cock from beef and eggs and ham. When those tireless people set off from this town, I don't think they ever thought, 50 years on, it will be necessary to unveil another pack for another crusade against the same terror of unemployment. Coming from a working class family in the northeast of England, there was a one in ten chance he would die in his first year. If he survived, he might expect to reach 50. But if he became too sick or old to work six days a week, all he could look forward to was the workhouse. By the time he left school, the first welfare legislation had been passed, providing some people with basic pensions and social insurance. On his 50th birthday, he could celebrate the arrival of a free national health service, part of a comprehensive program of social reform that came to be known as the welfare state. We have lived with the welfare state for nearly 40 years. It affects the lives of every one of us. We have come to take for granted free health and education, benefits when we are sick or unemployed, help in raising a family through family allowances, council housing we can afford and a pension when we retire. For nearly 40 years too, governments of both political parties have stood by the welfare state and honored the post-war settlement which many thought had changed the face of Britain for good and for the better. Now it is under attack from a government which believes the very principle of a welfare state is wrong. 